In this video, I'm going to show you how to add payment options to a Google form. And I'll cover two payment options, bank transfer and with a QR code, such as UPI, GPay, etc. So the first thing you have to do is go to your browser and then go to forms.google.com. This is the site we have to go to. For now, I'll show you how to create a basic form. But if you already have a form, then you can skip this section of the video and go to the next. So for now, I'll click on blank form that's written over here. And we can start creating our form from here. We'll first just add a title to this quickly. And now we can start asking the basic details. So the first thing if you want to ask name, just click on untitled question that's here. And now I can type in name. And the type of answer we'll get is a short answer since it's a name. Then if you want this to be required, just click on this box. And now someone has to fill in this question if they want to submit this form. The same way, we'll quickly add a few more questions. So click on the plus button that's over here. This is to add a question. And now I'll add the second one. And here I've asked company. And you can keep adding questions. And once you're done, then we'll come to the payment question. So now I'll show you how to add that. So now click on the plus button again. And we'll first ask the mode of payment that they prefer. So just type that in. So here we'll give the different options. For now, I'll cover bank transfer and UPI. So just click on option one that's here and type in bank transfer. And the second option, I'll put UPI slash GPay slash Paytm. Here you can type in any options that you want. And if you want to add one more option, just click on add option again and you can type it in. Once this is done, we'll create a new section for each of these options. So if someone clicks on bank transfer, they'll be taken to a certain section. And if they click on UPI, we'll take them to another section. So now I'll show you how to do this. Just click on this last icon that's add section. And here we'll call this section bank transfer. Under this, we'll just add a question. So here in the description under bank transfer, you can just put your bank details where they can send the payment. So I've pasted these details and whatever details you have, you can just paste it over here. And now we'll add one more question and that will be for proof of payment. So to do this, click on the plus button and we can just call this payment proof and the type of answer we'll keep is file upload. So just click on this option here and change this to file upload, which is here. Click on continue. So this is where they can upload a screenshot that they've made the payment. And we can change one setting and only allow certain file types. So select this option and now just select PDF and image. So this means that they can only upload PDFs or images to this. And once it's uploaded, you'll find it in your Google Drive. And again, just make this question required. So they have to fill this in to submit the form. So now we're done with bank transfer and we'll create the next section, which is for UPI. So click on add section that's here. And now I'll call this UPI slash GPA slash Paytm. And now what we can do is add a picture of our QR code. So then they can scan this and make the payment to that QR. To do this, click on this button that's here, which is add image. Now you'll have to upload the image over here. So if it's on your PC, just click on browse and then you'll have to upload it here. As you can see, the image has come here and now they can scan this QR code to make the payment. And I can just add a title if I want. So I've said pay here. And the last question left to add is again for proof of payment. So click on the plus button that's here. We'll again call this payment proof. Then we'll change the type to file upload. So click on this button, change it to file upload. Then select this option that's allow only specific file types. And here select PDF and image. So they can only upload PDF or images to this. And then just click on required. So again, they have to upload the file and only then they can submit. And now we're done. So the same way, if you want to add one more option like transaction ID, you can click on add question and just put transaction ID and make that question required. So based on your requirements, you can keep adding more questions. So now all the sections are ready and the only thing left to do is link the earlier question, that's this one, to each section. So if someone selects bank transfer, then we'll take them to section two. 
and if they select UPI, we'll take them to section 3. To do this, click on this question. After that, click on the three dots, which are at the bottom right, and select Go to section based on answer. Then next to each option, we need to select the correct section. So next to bank transfer, just select this option and change it to section 2, which says bank transfer. And next to UPI, again click on this and change it to section 3, which is UPI. And now it's done. So if someone comes to section 2, then after that, they can submit the form. Now that we've added the section based answers, we'll have to make one change. So just scroll down and over here in section two, it's written after section two and we can select an option. So click on this and click on submit form and now it's done. And the same thing applies to section three as well. So if you want to preview your form, click on this eye icon that's on the top and let's see if it works. So here, if I select bank transfer and click on next, as you can see, it's taken me to this page where the bank details are given and I can add a file for payment proof. And now I've come back and if I select UPI and click on next, then it's taken me to this page where I can scan the QR code and then upload the file. And once you've uploaded the file, you can submit the form. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know the different ways you can check responses, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.